Jenny here and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today you guys, I am bringing back one of my all-time favorite series on my channel, which is called 5 Minute Meals. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel or if you haven't seen my 5 Minute Meals videos before, basically what I do in the 5 Minute Meals series is I find a recipe that claims that it can be made in 5 minutes or less and I test it out and see if it's actually possible and then I rate the recipe and all the other factors too. And the last 5 Minute Meal recipe that we did was the 5 Minute Rainbow Smoothie Bowl that I will link up here and down in the description below. So make Make sure you check out that video if you haven't seen it already. And I will also be linking down the playlist for the 5 Minute Meals series. So just like last time on 5 Minute Meals, this recipe I know can be made in 5 minutes or less because I made the recipe. <laughs> so today you guys, we are going to be making my 5 Minute Vegan Chili recipe. Let's do it. Alright you guys, so to make my 5 Minute Vegan Chili, this is what you're going to need. Here is everything. <coughs> Here I am, hello. We are going to need some firm tofu. Very important that it's firm because if you get the silken tofu, it's all gonna like dissolve in the stuff. You can even get the extra firm, but you'll probably have to cut it a lot smaller. You're also going to need some black beans. So in a can, canned beans. And you can adjust the amount you want depending on, you know, your preference of bean to chili ratio whatever. And you're also going to need some tomato sauce. Now, the tomato sauce you use is very important here. Make sure you use a tomato sauce that you really like the flavor of because this is where all the flavor is going to come from. I live and die by this one. This one, I didn't even know what it was called. This one, they sell at my local Costco. I highly recommend it because I think it tastes amazing, better than many of the tomato sauces that I've ever gotten. So, Definitely recommend that one, but if you have one that you like, use that one. You're also going to need some salt and pepper, duh. If you have any other seasonings you like, you can put cumin, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Go crazy with your seasonings. I'm trying to do it real fast, so I'm just gonna go with salt and pepper, but <laughs> make sure that if you want something extra flavorful, then you add some more flavors. But honestly, if this thing's flavored really well, then you'll be fine. And then we have our optional ingredients. So. Optional, oh my gosh. So these are ingredients that I'm definitely adding because I think they definitely work well in this recipe, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. So that's gonna be a can of corn. I think that corn makes the world go round. Ideally, it'd be great if we got some organic one, but that's okay. We gonna eat some GMOs today. Um, and also I have some minced up mushrooms here. I think that mushrooms just give it a good umami flavor, so. <laughs> But if you don't like mushrooms, feel free to throw it out. Don't even put it in. It's fine. Okay, let's do it. Step one, you are going to start heating up your pan here. This thing has been heating up for like 10 minutes because I've been doing this video for so long. <laughs> so that's probably bad. But uh, yeah, just heat it up. Give it a medium high heat. See, it's on medium high heat. Um, we're going to heat it up. And the first thing we're going to add is our tofu. Okay, hello. <laughs> so while your pan is heating up, you're going to want to open up your tofu. Also, just a side note, it's good to get some organic tofu because soybeans usually have a lot of GMOs. Probably one of the highest, next to corn, they're one of the highest things with GMOs. So if you can get some organic corn and tofu, that's best. But if you can't, it's fine. Once your pan is heating up, you're gonna wanna open up your tofu. It's gonna have some juices in here and you can just cut it open, strain the juice, and then plop the chunk of tofu into your pan. All right, you guys, I have to film this for my Instagram. So I'm using one hand. Okay, um, that looks pretty nasty. Now we're going to strain it up. Looking nice and squishy. Mmm, looks delicious. Okay, now we're going to cut it up into bits. So we're just gonna cut it into little squares. Doesn't really have to be perfect because it's all gonna come apart anyway in the pan, but just like that, that's fine. There we go, beautiful. Now we're just gonna throw it into the pan, like so. Okay, make sure you give it a good mix. If you're going to add your mushroom here, you can just add it in right now. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. Nice. Hello. <laughs> 
So now while your tofu is cooking down, we'll give it about a minute. And within that minute, since we only got five minutes, we gotta do this fast. Within that minute, we're going to open up all of our jars and cans of stuff. So your corn, your beans, your tomato sauce. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and throw in your salt and pepper into the tofu. Okay, so here's a tip of something that I do. I like to strain out and flush through my, is that how you would say that? Rinse? <laughs> I like to rinse out my corn, especially if it's like with salt because then it's just like extra salt and then we just put salt, so you know, a lot of salt. And also my beans a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then while you're at it, go ahead and fill up both of the cans with water. Just like with the beans in it and the corn in it already, just fill it up with water. So this water, is going to be added into the chili to thin it out a little bit. And we're gonna leave some of the water on the side just in case we need more. So now that our tofu and our mushrooms, the optional mushrooms, have cooked down a little bit, as you can see here, very nice. Now we're going to add our other ingredients. So we're gonna add all of them all at once. The tomato sauce, the corn, and the beans, and the water in them. Let's do it. Our corn and our tomato sauce. Ooh, hopefully that fits. <laughs> Just a whole freaking jar. Yeah. Delicately mix it up. That is all you gotta do and your five minute chili is done in under five minutes, really. If you like a thicker chili, then definitely don't put as much water as I put or just let it like evaporate out. Honestly, if you leave it overnight, like in the fridge, the next morning is gonna be way thicker anyway. So if you're like meal prepping this or something, like that's it, you just put it in the fridge, it'll be fine. And of course, it's better probably the longer that it sits here and cooks but it's ready in five minutes if you want to eat it in five minutes. Yeah, I recommend if you have more than five minutes and you're not super hungry just yet, I would recommend letting it simmer on like a medium low or a low heat for another like 10, 15 minutes longer if you can, just because like those flavors are like mixed together and the tofu will really absorb a lot more of the flavor. But if you are hungry and you just want this right now, it is ready in under five minutes, so definitely worth it. Now I think it is time to give this a taste, so let's put it in a bowl and try it. Here it is, the final chili product. Like I said, it kind of looks like a soup right now. Um, definitely gonna let it simmer for a little bit longer, for like maybe half an hour or so, but yeah, let's try it. That is freaking delicious. Okay, <laughs> that tastes a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought this was gonna taste like very five minute meal. You know what I mean? If you know what I'm talking about, like it tastes like it was made in five minutes, but it don't. This is really good. And I'm telling you, I am telling you, the tomato sauce makes all the difference. Get a good tomato sauce because if your tomato sauce is not good, it's not gonna taste good. <laughs> I've had many a tomato sauces and I will, I'm not sponsored by that tomato sauce. I don't know where I, th I threw it out in the recycle already but that one is the best one I've ever had. So definitely recommend you pick that one up at your local Costco if you have one, if you have a membership. But yeah, this is really good, you guys, and I definitely recommend you make it. Literally takes five minutes. All the ingredients, like literally like, how many ingredients do we use? Like five ingredients or less? What, tomato sauce, beans, corn, mushrooms, salt and pepper? And water if you count that? Six, seven, five, six, seven ingredients. Easy peasy, delicious, totally worth it. <laughs> Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned an awesome new recipe to try that's vegan. It takes five minutes to make, literally minimal ingredients, and it's delicious. Make sure you give this recipe a try, and if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe and push that little notification bell. I put out a new video every week, committed to doing fully every week, every Wednesday, a new video. So, I will see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! Gosh, this is so awkward. Okay. Ugh. Oops, I'm dripping things everywhere. This thing has been heating up for like 10 minutes because I've been doing this video for so long. <laughs> so that's probably bad. Oh, shoot.
It's really burning. It's really burning at 911. Quick. Oh, Jesus. Ow. It's really burning. Okay, let's salvage what we can. Damn it. I knew it was too hot. Don't be doing what I did. 